feeling of going viral makes your emotions spiral this is the moment you've been waiting for you're the one they all adore it's at least for a few hours or days feeling like the new craze but this is just one reality the alternative is the reverse to others social media is nothing but a curse you can light up the world, ignite flames, connections made, lives change and are still changing. Starting up new revolutionary communities and bringing people together. Others meeting who never thought they would. Relationships blossoming and so many doing good. Positions of ending child poverty and ending animal cruelty put through to government and making a difference. More money raised than ever before and this could just be the start of it. Boys chasing girl their dreams on these fake Instagram realms. Ground girls waiting for the boy to make their hearts swirl. Being a player on this game, wouldn't you do the same? Swiping left and right, is this right or wrong? See if you're someone's match because of a picture in a phone. Are you going to swipe right or swipe left? What do you think? Go right. There he goes, Nick, okay. take the seat. Wow. Nice. You are off to a great start. Let's bring out the next potential match. People are saving pictures to post in the future, post on certain days at certain times for the most views and likes. Getting their kicks of dopamine like a drug abuser with their heroin. That might be you or someone you know. It was me a while ago. It's part of us, it's ingrained and intertwined in our society like the blood shooting through our veins. Just as real as cancer spreading through your body. Quicker than a global pandemic shutting down each and every country. For each positive, there's 10 negatives. No regulation or verification, wild humiliation, so much saturation, and you're more than likely a part of it. Mental health is here dating around us. Pins up, silence. Our brain health, let's analyse. Suicide on the rise, poverty reaching the skies, food bank rise. Looking at social media, you wouldn't think this is our lives. Is it really a surprise? Suicide's on the rise? Imagine being 12 years old and thinking it was the end. Imagine being that person's mother, father or friend. Imagine them writing RIP on their foot and sending it to their peers. Imagine the tears, the heartbreak, the cries. Is there any further demise? Imagine the gut-wrenching feeling every time you breathe, knowing that she hadn't even turned 13. Imagine finding suicidal notes and drawings surrounded by cuddly toys. Imagine the next part, I'm not sure I still even have a voice. This was the story of Jessica Scatterson and the lead up to her death. One way social media made her feel like she had nothing left. This is not just some story from afar. Don't presume this is somewhere like Washington, America. This is Warrington, England, just down the road, one where the pressure of social media was untold. In this world of wants and greed, social media could be what we need. Instead, it's tore us apart and made us more unsociable. We have to change. It's non-negotiable. Social media manipulation. Technological domination. Taking over our population. But we can change the situation. Me and you can be the foundation of transformation. The next generation. Say no more to separation and segregation. Don't feel the social media obligation. Show just a little determination and get immersed with me in this militant revelation. <laughs> What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's.
just 